Hello and welcome my dear students. Previously we have seen the story of Swaminathan who is afraid of sleeping alone at night and after reading the news of a brave child father asks Swami to prove himself courageous and tells him to sleep alone in his office room. Now, Swami Nathan tries to give many excuses but his father denies to all his excuses and asks him to sleep alone and he goes to the office room. Now let's see what happens ahead. So first I will read out and then I'll explain you. As the night advanced and the silence in the house deepened, his heart beat faster. He remembered all the stories of devils and ghosts he had heard in his life. He was faint with fear. A ray of light from the street lamp strayed in and cast a shadows on the wall. Through the stillness, all kinds of noises reached his ears. The ticking of the clock, the rustle of trees, the sound of snoring and some vague night insects humming. He covered himself so completely that he could hardly breathe. Every moment he expected the devils to come and carry him away. Now, when he went into the room, when Swaminathan's father left him into his office room and as the night advanced, what happened? There was a silence in the house. The silence deepened. Deepened means grim because everyone was asleep and so the silence in the house deepened his heart beat faster. Now as there was darkness, as there was complete silence, Swaminathan was scared and his heart started beating faster. So now as he was alone, so he remembered all the stories of ghosts and devils which he had heard in his life. So most of the time uh, his grandmother used to tell him stories, isn't it? So many times he had heard the stories of ghosts and devils and he remembered all those stories. He was faint with fear. And due to fear he fainted. That he was so scared of the darkness, of the silence in the room. And because of fear, he fainted. A ray of light from the street lamp strayed in and cast shadows on the wall. So you know that during night, uh, street lamps are on, isn't it? So a ray of light from that street lamp, it entered into the room and casted shadow on the wall. Because of that street light, there was a shadow on the walls. Through this stillness, all kind of noises reached his ears. Now, as there was pin drop silence, everyone was asleep. So now he could hear the surrounding sound. Everything was still and because of that, he could hear the surrounding sounds. Like the ticking of the clock. See so whenever there is pin drop silence, you can also hear the tick tick of a clock, isn't it? So similarly, Swaminathan also heard the ticking of the clock. Then he heard the rustle of trees, rustle of trees. When the air moves, uh, the leaves of trees uh, make some sort of sound that is called as rustle. So he could hear the rustle of the trees, the sound of snoring. He could also hear the sound of snoring. Somebody must be snoring in his house. So he could hear that sound as well. 
and also some vague night insects humming. Vague means uncertain. So he could hear some uncertain insects humming at night. He covered himself completely that he could hardly breathe. So now as he was too much scared, he covered himself completely with a blanket and because of that, he was suffocating. He was unable to breathe. Every moment, he expected the devils to come and to carry him away. So each and every moment, he used to think that some devil will come and carry him away. So all the time he was expecting devil would come there and carry him away. So that much scared he was. He was so afraid to sleep alone. Swaminathan hurriedly got up and spread his bed under the bench and crouched there. It seemed to be much safe place more compact and reassuring. So now what he did? He hurriedly spread his bed under the bench and crouched there. It seemed to be much safer place, more compact and reassuring. So in that room, Swaminathan felt that that was the safe place. Uh, where he could sleep, where he would not be afraid or where uh, the devil or ghost will not come. He felt like that. He felt reassuring to sleep under the bench. He shut his eyes tight and, and cast himself in the blanket once again and unknown to himself fell asleep and dreamed that a tiger was chasing him. So once again, he encased himself into a blanket. He covered himself by a blanket and after some time, unknowingly, he felt asleep. First, he tried to close his eyes very tightly because he uh, did not want that uh, he should see some ghost or devil. And so, he closed his eyes very tightly and unknowingly, he felt asleep. So, after feeling asleep, he dreamt that a tiger was chasing him. His feet stuck to the ground. He desperately tried to escape, but his feet would not move. So when he saw that the tiger was chasing him, he tried to escape from there. He tried to run away from there, but he was unable to do so because his feet stuck to the ground. Means because he was so scared that he was unable to move from there. The tiger was at his back and he could hear its claws scratch ground, scratch, scratch and then a light third. So now... In his dream, he saw that the tiger was behind him. He, the tiger was at his back and he could hear its claws scratch ground. Now you know the claws is, uh, of tiger. Yes, they are very sharp. So when he was walking on the ground, Swaminathan could hear the scratch of his claws on the ground and also he heard a light thud. Third is also some sort of noise. While walking, the tiger made some sort of noise. When he stamped its feet on the ground, it made the noise that is called as thud. Swaminathan tried to open his eyes, but his eyelids would not open and the nightmare continued. So now, when he dreamt that the tiger was chasing him and he was unable to move, at that time he tried to open his eyes. But his eyelids did not open and the nightmare continued. Nightmare means dream. He was seeing the dream, isn't it? So that dream continued. It threatened to continue forever. 
Now this dream, Kriyatan Swaminathan, that this dream will continue forever. Swaminathan groaned in despair. So now Swaminathan groaned in despair. Groan means to make a very deep sad sound. So now he felt that the tiger will attack on him. And so he made a deep sad sound. With a desperate effort, he opened his eyes. He put his hand out to feel Granny's presence at his side as was his habit. So with desperate efforts, with lot of efforts, finally Swaminathan opened his eyes. And he put his hands out, he stretched his hand. Why? To feel the presence of his granny as it was his habit. So you know that he used to sleep beside his granny. And whenever uh, he used to get afraid, he used to try to touch whether his granny is present beside him or no. So similarly that day also he tried to feel the presence of granny. But, the, but he only touched the wooden leg of the bench. But now you know that he was not sleeping beside his granny. He was sleeping alone in the office room under the bench. So when he put out his hand to feel granny's presence, he could only touch the wooden leg of the bench. And his lonely state came back to him. So now he realized that he was alone in the room. He sweated with fright. So now, when the lonely state came to his mind, when he remembered that he is alone in the room, he started sweating due to fear. And now, what was this rustling? And now, he could also hear some rustling sound. So he asked, what was that rustling? As it came nearer, he crawled out from under the bench, hugged it with all his might and used his teeth on it like a mortal weapon. So when he heard the rustling sound coming near to him, what he did? He crawled from under the bench and he hugged it with all his might. All his might means all his courage, all his power, he tried to hug it and used his teeth on it like a mortal weapon. So now he did not have any sort of weapon. So what he did, he used his teeth like a weapon to bite whatever was in front of him. First he did not know who, is, who it was and he used his teeth like a weapon to bite it. Mortal means deadly, fatal. Ayo, something has beaten me, went forth an agonized, thundering cry and was followed by a heavy tumbling and falling amidst furniture. That moment. So when Swaminathan took a bite with his teeth, he shouted, Ayo! And he said that something has beaten me. And he made a loud cry. See, if somebody bites you, we also shout loudly, isn't it? So, he also shouted loudly and was followed by a heavy tumbling and falling among amidst furniture at moment. So what happened? He lost his balance when Swaminathan um, took a bite and uh, he fell down amidst the furniture, in between the furniture and due to that there was a loud noise. Father, the cook and a servant came there carrying lights. So now when uh, Father and other people in the house heard the noise. Father, the cook of the house and the servant of the house, they all the three came there in the office room to see what had happened. 
and all the three of them felt on the burglar who was amidst the furniture with a bleeding ankle. So when these three entered the room, they also fell down and they fell down on that burglar. Who was that person? He was a burglar. Burglar means a thief. So he was a thief and he had come to steal something and his father, Swaminathan's father, cook and the servant, all the three fell on that burglar. Congratulations were showered on Swaminathan the next day. So now this uh, incident was known by everyone. So everyone came to know about the bravery of Swaminathan. And next day everyone tried to congratulate Swami, uh, Swaminathan. Everyone was congratulating him for his courage. So see how overnight he became a hero. Now who is a hero? Who has a courage? Yes, who fights against the odds. And accidentally Swaminathan got hold of the thief and overnight he became a hero. His classmates looked at him with respect and his teacher patted his back. So now his friends, his classmates also respected him because he was a very courageous boy. Because of him a burglar was caught and so his classmates respected him. They looked at him with great respect. His teacher also patted his back. The headmaster said that he was a true scout. Now headmaster of the school also praised him by saying he that he was a true scout. Swaminathan had bitten into the flesh of one of the most notorious housebreakers of the district and the police were grateful to him for it. Because uh, of Swaminathan, the police uh, were, were able to catch the burglar. Swaminathan had bitten one of the notorious housebreakers. Housebreaker means one who breaks the house and enters and steals the things away. So he was one of the notorious housebreaker in that district uh, which was caught by Swaminathan and so the police were also thankful, they were also grateful to Swaminathan for his deed. The inspector said, why don't you join the police when you grow up? So now the inspector was also proud of him and because he had showed his bravery, uh, it was a courageous act and so the inspector told him that when you grow up, you try to join the police. Swaminathan said, for the sake of politeness, certainly yes, though he had quite made up his mind to be an engine driver, a railway guard or a bus conductor later in life. But at that time, uh, for the sake of politeness, Swaminathan said, yes, certainly I will join the police. But already he did not want to be a police in his future. So what he wanted to become? He wanted to become either an engine driver or a railway guard or a bus conductor. So he had uh, these three choices and he had made up his mind to be one of them. When he returned home from the club that night, father asked, where is the boy? So now, uh, next night, when father returned home from the club, uh, he asked, where is the boy? Boy means we are Swaminathan. So he asked, where is Swaminathan? He is asleep. So mother replied that he is asleep. Now he was already sleeping. So father asked already. He didn't have a wink of sleep the whole of last night, said mother. 
So mother said that yes, he is already sleeping now because last night he was unable to sleep all night long and so today he has slept early. So when mother said that he is sleeping, at that time father asked where is he sleeping. So father wanted to know where he was sleeping, whether he was sleeping in his usual place or whether he was sleeping alone. He is in his usual place, mother said casually. He went to bed at 7.30. So mother casually said that he is sleeping in his usual place and he went to bed at 7.30. Sleeping beside granny, father said. So when mother told him that he was sleeping in his usual place. So that his usual place was to sleep beside granny. So father asked, sleeping beside his granny? No wonder he wanted to be asleep before I could return home, clever boy. So father understood that Swaminathan was very clever boy and he wanted to sleep before his father would return home so that uh, he would not have to sleep alone because his father made him to sleep alone the day last night and so that night he did not want to sleep alone and so before his father could return home he already pretended to be sleeping mother lost her temper you let him sleep where he likes you need not risk his life again so now mother became very angry and she said that let him sleep wherever he wants because you should not risk his life because last night his life was at risk due to that burglar. So now mother was very angry because she loved Swaminathan a lot. She pampered him a lot and she did not want that his life should be at risk. So she became angry on Swaminathan's father and she told him that let him sleep wherever he wanted. Father mumbled as he went in to change. All right, Molly modeled and spoiled him as much as you like. So father said that okay, no Molly modeled. Molly modeled means to pamper, to give someone more care and protection. So he said that you give him lot of care, lot of protection and you spoil him. So see, if uh, our parents always keep us protecting, if always they take our side and they don't allow us to do something on our own, then we totally are dependent on our parents. So in future, we can't do anything. So, if we need to be independent, our parents should sometimes be strict and uh, we need to do something independently. But here, the mother was protecting him a lot and because of that, father thought that Swaminathan would be spoiled. Swaminathan, following the whole conversation from under the blanket, felt tremendously relieved to hear that his father was giving up on him. Now Swaminathan, he was listening to the conversation between his father and mother. He was pretending to be asleep. Actually, he was not asleep. From under the blanket, he was listening the whole conversation. And after listening the conversation, now he was very much happy. He was relaxed. He was relieved that his father was giving up on him. So give up. It is a phrase. Means uh, now his father was not forcing him. He has stopped uh, forcing Swaminathan to sleep alone. So this was the lesson. So you must have understood how accidentally and overnight Swaminathan became a hero. He was a forward and suddenly overnight he became a hero by accidentally catching hold of the burner. So now let us see the exercise which is given. Choose the correct 
answers. First uh, question, what story did Swaminathan read in the newspaper? So what do you think? Which is the correct answer? Is it A, a story about a uh, noble father? Uh, option B, story about a brave boy? Option C, a story about a brave tiger? Or option D, a story about a stern mother? So which is the right answer? The story about a brave boy. That is option B is the correct answer. Next question, what is the result of reading the story? Option A, Swami had to visit a forest. Option B, Swami had to sleep next to his father. Option C, Swami had to sleep alone. Option D, Swami had to sleep in the garden. So which is the correct answer? Swami had to sleep alone. And that is option C. So let's move towards the third question. How does Swaminathan try to make his father change his mind? So how he tries to make his father change his mind? So let's read out the options. Option number A. He tried to change the subject. Option B. He appealed to his grandmother. Option C, he appealed to his mother. Option D, he burst into tears. So what do you feel? Which is the correct answer? Correct answer is option A, he tried to change his subject. I also told you uh, to write the sentences in sequence. I hope you must have written it. So just cross check your answers. So the first sequence is Swaminathan lay down under the bench in his father's office. After that what happened? Swaminathan remembered all the stories of devils and ghosts he had heard in his life and felt terrified. So that is second sentence, second sequence of the story. The third is unknown to himself. He fell asleep and had the most disturbing nightmares. Number four, he awoke with a start as he heard strange, unfathomable rustling sound. Number five, sweating with fright, he moved in the direction of the sound. Number six, his hand came in contact with something which he held on to tightly and bit into with all his strength. Number seven, a loud agonized cry was heard which brought many people into the office. Number eight, they fell upon the burglar and restrained them. Number nine, the police were called and they arrested the burglar. And last number 10, Swaminathan became a hero overnight. So this was the sequence of the story. So I hope you have understood the lesson. After watching this video, you need to solve the next exercise which is given in your textbook till then stay home stay safe